All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Let's check out Questify's brand new features that they just added today, and it's with local keyword research. So we're gonna go over here and go to new campaigns, and you'll see right over here, we have local research right over here, and they've added one, two, three, four brand new tools over here. They've also added a new tool right over here in the tool section called the Keyword Combiner. And this Keyword Combiner, I believe that this is like a free tool to use. It doesn't require credits. If we come in here, cost of credit is free. So that's pretty cool. We can go and check out how to use this in a minute, but we'll go back over to campaigns and let's go see what we can do with these new campaigns real quick. So let's go and search cities, get a list of cities based on an area code. So I'm gonna use my local area right over here. So I'm gonna say that this is Rio Rancho. This is a suburb of Albuquerque. We have about 100,000 people in this location. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a zip code and then I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna use 50 for now and see what it comes up with. There's not a lot of cities in New Mexico, so it'll be interesting to see what this actually comes up with. You'll select your country language and it'll tell you how many credits it'll cost. And then we will say create and create another. So while that's going on, we're gonna go over here and try this second tool. What is search services? You get a list of services provided by a specific industry. So let's go click on that one and see what we want to do. So we have a service provider. So that's plumber or whatever you want to do right there. So campaign name, let's just say that this is Rio. Okay, so over here, this is not going to be like city based. This is very much for niche research, diving into sub niches in inside of what you would typically think of. Let's just go with plumbing. So plumbing, and then right over here, we want to look at different services within the plumbing niche. I'm going to go with 50 right here, and then I'm going to say create and create another. Then we're going to go over here to search local places. So show a list of popular places and attractions in a specific location. So boom, I'm going to go like this. And for fun, I'm going to go and use Albuquerque since that's the biggest city in my state. We're going to go like that. And I'm going to go with 50 just so we can get a taste of what we can use this for. You definitely want to put your city in right here, United States, English, and create another. And then we're going to go over here and look at things to do. So if we click on things to do, again, we're going to go with the Albuquerque theme. And I'm going to go with 50. And then I'm going to put the city in right here, United States, boom, and create. So then now we can go over and look at these local campaigns that we just created and it finished the city's search so let's go click on that and see what this looks like so we'll scroll down and we have Albu albuquerque we have rio rancho so that is right there we went with 87124 that's the zip code i'm in so it these are some of the biggest rio rancho is going to be one of the biggest cities suburbs if you will it's technically considered a city so that would be one of the biggest cities in new mexico there's a lot of hundred thousand uh, range cities in New Mexico. Uh, there's not a whole bunch that are bigger than that. Maybe the state uh, capital of Santa Fe might have 200,000 people or something like that. And then Albuquerque is over a half a million, believe it or not, it's actually ranked like 30 something in the whole United States, but it really tapers off. So we can look through here and I can just start looking and uh, based on my own knowledge, Bernalillo is one of them, Corrales is one. I got some friends that live in Corrales. We've got Placitas. This is really laser targeted. And if you were going to create a website in your area, this is actually gold. It's going out and doing all the research for us. These are places like this. I've never even heard of this before, right? I've heard of Tejeres and Sandia Heights and so forth, but like breaking this up into specific, almost neighborhoods where you could really create some unique content right over here. And it just keeps going all like some of these, I'd say about 30% of these I've never even heard of. And I live in this area. So that is actually really cool. Then we were coming out about an hour away, Cuba, um, Moriarty, that's uh, about 45 minutes away from Albuquerque, Edgewood. So it really is what I envision is that if you have a circle right here, and that is Albuquerque, it's going to really start zooming out into a, another zone and then looking at cities right there. And then based on if you selected 50, 100 and keep going, it's going to keep going out to another big area and start looking for those. So really crazy. I can tell you right over here, like getting into Gallup, wherever that was, Gallup right over here, that's about three hours away. So that gives you an idea of that there's really not a whole lot of cities because now we're starting to get over three hours away just to continue bringing in new cities 
And I only selected 50, right? So I imagine if I selected 500 to 1,000, we would really start exhausting our list in this state, right? But if you're in New York and you do this, you're not even going to make it outside of New York City and it's going to cost you probably 500 credits because there's so many places uh, around that area. Really cool. Just wanted to show you guys that could be very helpful for grabbing this right over here. And then if you were going to do the local research, this would be a great thing. I'm going to go ahead and just like copy, copy the selected. I'm going to go over to campaign. And then if we go into campaign, create new, let's go see if we can learn how to use the keyword combiner. We'll go with the keyword combiner and we'll throw those 50 in right there. And then we'll just say Albuquerque right here. Let's say we're going to use this for domain research or something like that. You can use this. The one cool way um, that you could use this is if you wanted to do roundup posts, you could put best as the keyword suffix. And then you could put uh, something in over here if you wanted to, or if you're looking um, for, let's just say, if you wanted to, yeah, like right here, you could go best things to do in, and then if we said create, so now what it's going to do is it's going to go out and add that prefix. So these are things that you have to bring into Microsoft Excel, or you could bring it into ChatGPT, but this is just going to save you a step. This is a free tool. It'll save you a step in your research while using Questify. You'll be able to come in there and just use that tool. So we can come in here and just take a look at what that looks like. So we can scroll down and then now look, best things to do in Los Ranchos de Albuquerque, best things to do in Positas, best things to do in Bernalillo. So this can help you with programmatic SEO and just give you a really nice list of best things to do. You can make a website, uh, a YouTube channel, and this would easily add in. And then once you come up with the best things to do in that keyword, you could put 20 best things to do in Rio Rancho. And those are just great posts, roundup list, listicle type posts that do well for websites and do well for YouTube videos. So really cool feature. Let's go back over to the campaigns and take a look at some more of these things that we came up with. So this one's the most interesting for me, this plumbing one. So let's go and see what this came up with for us, because now uh, it's going to take sub niches or other um, like LSI type keywords um, that are going to be very closely related to plumbing. So faucet installation. So if you can go in there and say faucet installation in your city, faucet installation, Santa Fe, faucet repair, toilet installation. These are all keywords that if you're going to go out and work on lead generation type websites or rank and rent type websites, this would be the perfect tool for that because you can come in here and you can go tankless water heater installation. You could go and check right over here and just see in general, this is a very good keyword right here, tankless water heater installation. Who even builds websites for that, right? With rank and rent, everyone's just thinking of plumbing, electric, they're, they're just thinking of, of all the basic ones like masonry, concrete, and so forth, right? All these ones that are just the, the they're industry standards, but, and there's only about 20 or 30 of those that are like the big ones, but really people, uh, these are all services that people need all the time, right? You'll have a water heater that is an old or, or original a standard water heater like where it's a tank water heater and then people are moving more towards tankless water heaters which I have one in my house right now as well and when people's water heaters go out they only last about 15 years the water heater goes out they need to repair it and get a new one put in That's, and if you pay someone to do that it's going to cost you probably about 600 to a thousand dollars if I had to make a guess right off the bat where getting a tankless one put in might cost you two thousand bucks but it's going to last you about 15 years so like double the amount of time and then you have instant hot water and you don't run out of hot water. So this is just becoming more and more of the standard and you can see the stats show right here. Even if we come over here and go into, let's go into look at all time, you can just see the trends right over here, right? It's at an all time high right here. It's at an all time high when we look at the last 20 years. So this is uh, definitely a good one. And then what I would do is I would go and find out, hey, what the, the search volume for that is. I'd make definitely follow your standards and so forth on how much the search volume is and so forth. But I think automatically I can call this one. This is going to be the most valuable to me and the most valuable keyword research feature. I got to be honest that this might be a top three for me right now. This one is just absolute game changer right here because it goes and does all this research for us. We don't even have to think. All we have to do is just put in one of the main ones that we're thinking of right over here. And then it's going to go out and do all this other stuff right over here. Sump pump repair. I don't even know what that is, but apparently that is a service. Sewer line installation. Look at all these ones that you just don't even think about. 
water filtration system repair, water filtration system installation, bathtub installation, shower installation, hydro jet services, right? People that have either hot tubs or they have... They have bath tubs that have hydro jets in them. They need that uh, fixed or whatever, right? Frozen pipe repair. Uh, this would be good for about half the United States where it's freezing cold uh, for half the year. So really good. I really like this one. Let's go back and look at what else these new tools have to offer. So we come in here to search local places, Albuquerque. We'll come in here and this one's going to search all these different things right over here, Albuquerque Old Town. So this is going to identify things to do in this area, right? That one's absolutely Sandia Peak Tramway, I believe is the tallest, longest tramway in the world. And believe it or not, we have it right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This tramway goes, it's on the Sandia Peak over 3000 feet in the air. And this uh, tramway goes for like a mile or something like that, or two miles and you get amazing views and so forth. So huge tourist attraction. And that is number one right there. We have Albuquerque Old Town, absolutely. We have all these different things, Petroglyph National Monument. There's a lot more things in here that most people in the United States don't know, that there's a lot of like wildlife and a lot of things like that to do. And there's a lot of culture. There's a lot of Native American culture and Mexican culture here in New Mexico as well. So there's just, this is just, I'm not surprised that there's a million different things. I didn't know there was a rattlesnake museum. Apparently there's a, a rattlesnake museum. The Albuquerque Biopark Aquarium, absolutely, that's popular and so forth. So this just gives me things that I've never even heard of in this area and the area that I've lived in for a really long time. So this is super, super cool. I think this is very useful. This could even help you with your local marketing and local ranking as well. But I really like that. Let's go back over to campaigns. Let's go into things to do. Was that the things to do? Because this is also going to create it's I think it's similar to what we just found out like of there's pl the other one was about places in the area. This one's going to combine those places basically and create what will look like posts for YouTube or your blog. And you're going to have all these different things of what you could do. You could create these as blog posts or YouTube if you have a YouTube vlog or something like that in your area and so forth. That's another thing to do. If you are in a city and you are trying to build an online business and you don't know what to do, this could be one. You go and visit and make an entire blog post and a video about all these different events in your area. And this is the kind of content that people crave and actually want. And this is the content that Google is going to reward, I believe, in 2024 going forward is going back to basics, real, genuine content, real, reviewed content from bloggers and from YouTubers and so forth. So that one's really cool. We're gonna go back over here to campaigns real quick and we'll slag a look. I think we went through all of them. So overall, I think this is really cool. My favorite one uh, by far is gonna be this one right over here, the search services. When we come over here and we put in plumbing, it gave us all these other different words that we can go. And what makes a tool like this just more fun is that it just works, it's very fast. And then we can go and look at YouTube, we can go look at Google, and we can go look at the trends. And then that's gonna help us make a better decision. And then what you can do is like toilet installation. Then you could go toilet installation installation and then put your city next to it and see if you can get either your city before or after as long as your search volume then you could go and actually rank a site and so forth so super cool just want to share these uh, new features uh, with you if you're interested in picking up questify via my link then i will have the link below super cool stuff i'll see you in the next video